Hi guys, it's Luke from Quaztech, and today I'm throwing an eye and an ear over Blue Mike's new addition to their lineup, the Yeti Nano. Now when you get your Nano, what you get in the box is the microphone with the desk band already attached, a USB cable and a multi-adapter with some paperwork. The physical tour starts at the front where the blue logo is. We have a dial which is also a button and this dial button combo also has an indicator light built into it. Around the back we have the pattern selector button with two indicator lights to let you know which pattern you're on and on the base we have a micro B USB, a quarter inch thread adapter for mounting. This is where you would put the 5.8 thread adapter onto as well and you also have a headphone jack for monitoring. Now the Nano does come with software, it's called Sherpa, uh, but I found it largely unnecessary apart from the firmware update. Uh, it, I just didn't find it necessary. Um, I found it worked in all the devices that I have. I plugged it in and Sherpa didn't do anything uh, spectacular. It was just sort of a GUI for where all of your dials and buttons and what mode, what pattern you're in it and stuff like that. Uh, this even work plugging into a smartphone with the use of a USB-C adapter being able to plug into my Zenfone and I was still able to record off of that. Uh, now in saying that the Nano is super easy to set up. Uh, you literally plug it into your device. If it's the first time you wait for that little device install notification to come up. You start your recording software, make sure you have the Nano selected, hit record, make those sweet sweet sounds. Uh, it's as simple as that. We're used to the Nano moniker referring to a smaller version. This is true with the Yeti Nano. The smallest Yeti in size, but also in features. Luckily you still get that great blue sound and build quality. A few features are missing out. Uh, you reduce number of patterns, you only get two with this one. Cardioid and Omni. Um, so basically the straight at you and the all around. Um, instead of the usual four patterns, but I find for the market that this is aimed for that those are pretty much the only two patterns that you really need out of this thing anyway. So who should be looking at this mic? Well, if we look at the cost from $180 anywhere down to as low as $150 in sales, I would say if you're serious about good sound for YouTube, Twitch, Maybe start in a one-man band. If you need a sexy looking mic to sit in the boardroom so that you can hear Jill from accounts. Either way, it's a great mic for the price and will help any noob share their voice. Now, I have another video that sort of gives an example of the two different patterns in a couple of different spaces with some hard spaces and soft furniture and whatnot around. So if you're interested in that, that link will be in the description. And also this is a very quick summary. I have done a written review as well, which will be up on the PC Tech Reviews site. Hopefully this will be the first in a series of reviews done in collaboration with Phil from PC Tech Reviews. So if you like what we're doing here, give us a thumbs up. Uh, go and check out Phil's site in the description below and we'll see you at the next one.